All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Anderson is four years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Corey Anderson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, going through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back your corners, not fight. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, and he lands a punch. 
finish there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Big head kick lands. The right hook to the body. Beautiful straight counter. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Anderson going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Good jab. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Nice punch land. him with a flush left. Dig and kick. Oh! Back to the feet. Focus, focus. What a tricky head kick. That's a big strike right there. Try to establish that jab. Clipped him with the right hand there. Under two minutes now to go. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Leg kick. Cable inches right there, boy. It was a good night that landed. Kick to the body by Anderson. Oh, another head kick lands. How is this man still standing? Unbelievable toughness, but even better execution on the other side. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 45 seconds to go here in round one. opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now. It's got to be over very soon. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo. Very accurate. Finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Anderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, that straight punch was useful, Chance. Multiple times, he's used this punch to get to the target. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank. And then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes. And before you know it, the fight's over. Round, you kept your composure. That's what I like to see. You fell back to your training. You kept 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thighs. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Yeah. Can't take many of those, you gotta check. Anderson's head kick looked like that one was blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. What a punch. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, uppercut to the head. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, Conor McGregor's boxing looks sharp here tonight. We talk about him as a master of distance management, but he also uses his long reach to great effect. It's one thing to have a long reach. It's another to use it and to use that jab, and McGregor has really mastered it when it comes to mixed martial arts. Good punch, Land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body punch. Beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. The numbers here, stat punch counters have been busy tonight. 108 12. Total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Striking with 48% accuracy tonight thus far against Corey Anderson. Nice free fun. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Nice punch by McGregor. Anderson's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show off the defense here, though. Oh, trying to turn out the lights for that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him track. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow tucked to the rib. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Very true.
tricky when he throws that body shit. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, nice right hand. Right. Check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of okay, kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, Lance. Another one there. A beautiful kick. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Bad. Big punch, Lance. Ooh. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Real quick leg kick. Oh! That right hand hurt him a little Back bit. Back and forth we go! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent. Oh! Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Whoa! One hundred and eighty-seven total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor, and landing with fifty percent accuracy tonight against Corey Anderson. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here, too. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 18 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.